Hello. Uh, had the self timer on the camera going there. Uh, I'm using the uh, I'll back with it. Wanted to. This is uh, my video blog for October first, two thousand and ten. Wanted to talk about the James O'Keefe thing. That's the conservative uh, guy who runs around the camera doing stupid, crazy stuff. Well, his latest, I'm sure you've heard about it, is uh, CNN uh, is doing a, I think it's going to be, and I think maybe tomorrow, or anyway, pretty quick here, they're doing a uh, documentary, or an, I guess not a documentary, a little new, it's not an expose, I don't think it's, here are right-wing conservative young activists and sort of following them and asking the questions, that type of thing. So uh, James O'Keefe, who I don't think fits into their, their category because I think the guy's a little nuts, more than a little nuts, uh, he asked to have an interview with uh, this female CNN reporter. And he asked that uh, she come alone. And uh, that, you know, I guess it'd be sexist to say if, if you were a female reporter for CNN or a female reporter for any station or whatever, I don't think that if I was the management or whatever, I wouldn't be, I, I guess I couldn't do it unless I did it for male reporters too. I'd just say, you're not to meet anybody alone. Uh, Unless there's some type, you know, unless there's a tracking device and somebody uh, backing you up, you know, uh, just too dangerous. But so she goes to meet this guy, and there's a, she thinks she's going to meet him at an office or something, but there's a dock there with a a boat and a uh, thank God for this. Uh, lady, there's a female who's with this James O'Keefe and his group uh, of people. She's an employee or whatever. And she meets the CNN reporter and says, basically, I guess, run, run, run for your life. Uh, he's got this pleasure boat stocked with uh, ca hidden cameras, uh, jars of Viagra and jars of uh, condoms and uh, fuzzy cuffs and blindfolds and run, run, run for your life. And so the news reporter leaves. And uh, then it turns out that uh, this James O'Keefe has, you know, he's got some, he had a list of things that he needed for this, uh, whatever it was, attack. Uh, on this female reporter, um, and he has a list of things that he needs, the kind of music he needs, and the condoms, and the Viagra, <laughs> and all this stuff. I'm laughing, but it's not funny. And he also has, I'm not sure whether he created the video already, or whether he just had a text of what, what he was going to do if certain things happened. Uh, he was going to try to seduce her, but if that didn't work, then if she tried to get off the boat, uh, he would keep her from leaving the boat until she was crying and begging to leave the boat. Stuff like this. It is all totally crazy. So, uh, I was wondering how the Fox News was going to, how, the, how Fox News was going to cover this. And, I don't have I don't have cable, so I mean I couldn't watch it, but I went to their website, and I didn't see any coverage of it. Until... From pistols to pranks, he planned to seduce but failed to produce. I'm talking about Acorn Pimp James O'Keefe, whose latest escapade didn't quite go as planned. That's him there. O'Keefe allegedly plotted to embarrass CNN correspondent Abby Boudreau, seen here, by using hidden cameras to tape a meeting at which he would try to seduce her on a boat full of sexual props. The meeting was set up to discuss Boudreaux's request to attend the shooting of a music video featuring O'Keefe as part of a series
CNN documentary on young conservative activists. So, but emails and documents obtained by CNN show that O'Keefe instead was going to punk Boudreaux by hitting on her, allegedly with the help of sex toys, lube, ceiling mirrors. Now, Fox News here, they go on to laugh and joke about it, and they, uh, uh, <laughs> they say, oh, well, uh, Michael, Moore, Mike Moore, Michael Moore does things like this. To, uh, he makes documentary movies. He does things like this, and then, uh, uh, I mean, they do, I can't believe, if I were management of Fox News, of course, you know, if I were management of Fox News, I'd walk over while they, with security while they were on the air, and I would just say, you're fired, security will escort you out. Of course, I mean, in real life, those things never happened, but, I mean, their response to it was just unbelievable. Ann Kohler was a guest on here, and she says the most horrible things. She talks about, uh, she says, well, if, if uh, the CNN reporter hadn't been tipped off by uh, this person, uh, the CNN reporter probably would have been in there rolling around in the condoms. Unbelievable, unbelievable. So that answered my questions. I went, I looked around a little bit, couldn't find anything. It's not being talked about, I, I think it's being talked about on blogs. I'm not sure it's being talked about a lot in the news for some reason. Uh... Or maybe, you know, I, like I said, I don't have cable TV. Maybe it's being talked about everywhere. I went to a, a conservative website, uh, redstates.com. I don't like them. I've blogged about them in the past. But I don't like them. It's not, uh, it's not, you know, naturally they have, I'm a left-wing liberal and proud and happy of it. And I think it's, when I die, I'll go straight to heaven, bypass purgatory because of it, because I care about people uh, and issues. And it's not that I don't like redstates.com because of their right-wing, you know, content. Because it's I don't like it because when I go there, it just they're they're uh, it seems like you have to be an insider. I mean, because they'll they'll throw out names and they'll say things about things that I mean I I'm pretty much up on news and uh, always have been. And it just doesn't, I'm thinking, you know, what are they talking about? You know, it just doesn't make sense. But I went there, and I don't know whether this guy is the main guy. I don't know, you know, I don't know who he is. But I went there, and uh, I put it on my blog. He did, actually, he made me, uh, made me, you know, rethink my position on the thing, because I was thinking that this James O'Keefe is uh, just stupid and uh, childish or whatever, but uh, Red State, the guy uh, for redstates.com, uh, uh, got me to rethinking and uh, sort of get me to change my, my, my point of view. I mean, he attacks it and he calls it uh, not clever, not funny, he calls it sick. Uh, so, somebody on the right understands that, that this isn't right. Got me really to thinking, you know, I'm thinking it's a stupid prank, it's uh, childish and all that kind of stuff, but uh, from reading that and thinking a little bit, uh, James O'Keefe was going to, apparently if the situation, depending on what the situation was, he was expecting her to crawl into bed with him or whatever and be videotaped or something, or or he was expecting her to scream and cry and try to get off the boat. He had these different scenarios. He had he had plans for them all. But uh, we're talking about kidnapping. If if he was prepared to let her to to get to a situation where he would not let her off the boat unless she cried and uh, screamed and hollered and did something that he could use on tape or something. We're talking kidnapping. We're talking false imprisonment. Kidnapping, you know, probably we're talking 20 years in prison for him. Now, kidnapping doesn't, by the way, doesn't it doesn't mean you have to go someplace and take somebody and bring them someplace. If you have somebody someplace and you don't let them leave, that's kidnapping also. And also false imprisonment. So, and also, I'm not sure, she drove there the reporter drove there, if she drove across a state line, he could be charged with, he could have been charged with, I mean, this 
person on his staff who apparently they're not happy with who they've uh, suspended from her duties, but I think they're still paying her, you know, this woman who tipped her off. But that, that lady they should give a medal to because, man, he could have been charged with kidnapping federal if this lady drove across state lines, the news reporter drove across state lines. He could be charged with kidnapping on a state charge. Yes, both charges, two charges of kidnapping, for, even though it's one person. False imprisonment. And also what I, you know, was thinking, this, this lady who tipped the reporter off, Izzy Santra, and man, she did the O'Keefe and the people behind him, the uh, group, little, little group of uh, dirty tricks people or whatever that were behind him. I mean, he saved, he may have saved it. What if she had resisted, the news reporter had got on the boat and had resisted in some way, you know, laughed at him and he had done something, you know? Or what if she had tried to get off the boat and she fell and hit her head? What if she jumped into the, you know, to the water to get off of the boat? I mean, what if she, you know, something could have happened. Those same kind of things happen. Um, but, you know, it didn't happen. She didn't get on the boat, thank God for her, and thank God for James O'Keefe. And also, and they may still be, uh, this could, I don't think it's going to happen, but these people could all be guilty of, uh, the crime of conspiracy. Conspiracy is when two or more people join together uh, to plot or agree to do some type, you know, some type of crime. Let's say that I decide that I'm going to rob a bank, just me. I decide I'm going to rob a bank. And I go and legally I get a gun, I get a mask, I draw up a map of the bank, I uh, uh, drive by the bank and look and say, okay, I'll park my car here, that, you know, whatever. Okay, then I, then I go, Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> what am I doing? This is crazy. I'm not doing that. I haven't committed a crime. I'm not guilty of any crime. But if you and I talk about, hey, let's rob this bank, and I'll get the gun, and you get the mask, and you'll park here, and, you know, whatever. And, you know, if it's a serious thing, we have committed the crime of conspiracy. We could be arrested, and we could go to prison for that. People do go to prison for that. Well, here, in this situation, there could be, even now, uh, Fox News is laughing about it and joking about it. And I can't believe uh, Ann Co Anna Kohler, or whatever her name is, saying that thing about, well, uh, the CNN reporter probably would have been, if it hadn't been tipped off, would have been rolling around in the condoms. But these people... They could now, they're probably, if there's, if they got together and said, okay, you know, you know, let's hold her on the boat and let's get, you know, there could be now the charge of conspiracy. I don't think so, because I think, one, that the emails that went back and forth and the plans that were drawn up and everything, I think that probably everybody that was dealing with him were, you know, was, you know were going, oh, this guy is nuts. And, no, no, we're not having anything to do with this, and no, 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 don't do this, or what, but whatever. But this is a serious matter, and this guy is scary as James O'Keefe is. And I decided on that after reading, uh, well, no, I did because I put on my blog the guy was scary and mental and everything else, but still, uh, the redstates.com, a right-wing blog, really got me to thinking, no, this, this is, uh, there's more to this than uh, meets the eye, and, and, uh, Anyway, I'll put the link to my blog, and there's some videos on there. There's video that you just heard from uh, Fox News, and there's some other videos. So I, uh, I guess that's the subject for my October 1st, 2010 video blog. Thank you very much for watching.